fashion today it's only a bunker it's a very serious political topic and I avoid it and I know that I always do but I'm just so for those of you under age turn this video off because I will be using really nasty language you are warned if you stick with me you're gonna stick with me to the end here we go the Balkan war 1992 to 1995 more or less just today or yesterday, well, depending when you watch this video, Radovan Karadzic, who was one of the lead, the leader of the Serbs, basically, back in the day, in the 90s, uh, has been sentenced by the United Nations, the Hague, um, ex-Yugoslav criminal, whatever thing, that uh, he's guilty on 10 of 11 uh, sentences as charged. Now, guilty for tens of thousands of people dying, literally killing them. What did he get as a sentence? 40 years. It took the tribunal five years for the process to take place, the trial to take place, and then 18 months to make their verdict. And now that motherfucker gets only 40 years for tens of thousands of people he has killed. And I say he because he knew that his people were killing these people. So it's just the same. You're ordering them to kill innocent lives. And now he gets 40 years. Granted, he's an old asshole. He's probably not going to live that long, but it's not enough. 40 years doesn't even make up to a day per person he killed. Is that United Nations and Europe? Is that how much a human being's life is worth to you? That little? And that motherfucker has the status of a famous war criminal. So he's going to get a prison cell with free food and shelter and probably a TV and maybe even access to the internet for the rest of his miserable fucking life. That sounds like free pension and retirement fund to me. It doesn't sound like a prison sentence, does it? Tens of thousands of people dead because of him and all Europe and the United Nations managed to come up with is 40 years after five years trial and 18 months decision making seriously well Europe you I, I can't I don't even know where to begin with how much I am disappointed and how much I have lost all my faith and hope in you you're disgusting and you make me sick because your double standards and double moral just show me that like there's no trusting you. There's no trusting the politicians. There's no trusting the decisions that you are making for the people. Which leads me to the point of believing that there is no more freedom of speech. So why don't you just shut my channel down? Why don't you come to my fucking house and arrest me because you think what I'm saying now is like a terrorist threat? No, it's not. It's a human disillusionment going on here. A human being realizing for the last time how fucked up the system is. You might ask me, well, what would you have done? What would I have done? How about beginning with this, Mr. Radovan Karadzic, my ass? Give the motherfucker the task in prison. Wake him up at four in the morning every morning and make him write with his own bare hands and a pencil apology notes to each and every family and family member person that he has killed and whose family is still alive and make him write apology notes over and over and over again till his hands start bleeding. And when his hands start bleeding, that's not his blood. He's going to have to realize that that's the blood of all the people who he has killed and make him do it over and over again. Don't make him go to bed until at least midnight and wake him up again at four in the morning and let him start all over again. And that if there is heaven and hell, afterlife will still be considered paradise compared to what the fuck he's going to get after he passes away in his VIP cell. 
I am through. I have no words left to say. I think this is despicable disgusting. Hell, even Hulk Hogan gets $140 million because of a sex tape that leaked. None of the people whose family has died in this fucking Balkan war has seen retribution of any kind. Nothing. Balancing justice from country to country, balancing justice on a global scale, it is not functioning, people. It is not functioning. That's all I have to say. And I know I always end with a note by saying, never give up on love. Amongst the few of us that listen to each other and understand each other, we won't give up on love. As far as the rest of the world is concerned that has our lives in their hands, those people, if we can still call them people, have given up on love a long time ago. Thank you so much. Share this video. And Radovan Karadzic, if you do get your fucking internet when you're in a prison cell, why don't you check out my channel and watch this video over and over again. Thank you all. Bye. Love you.